Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is If and today it's day 40 of gym with me. We will start from biceps and the exercise called Caber Curl for series of 10 reps with 20 kilograms. The biceps cable curl is an isolation exercise for the biceps muscle in the upper arm. The pulling action is performed with a cable machine and is suitable for beginners. How to do cable curl? First, curl the cable weight upward toward the chest while breathing out. Only the forearm smooth, rising from the elbow. Second, hold at the top of the contraction for a second. The third one, lower the forearms to the static position on an inhale. Stop before the weights return to the stack, keeping the cable under tension. And now I will tell you about common mistakes of cable curl. The first one is going too fast. Spend at least 2 seconds for each phase of the curl, both up and down. Hold for at least a second when your biceps are at the maximum contraction. The second, dropping the weights. At the end of each rep, keep the weights suspended rather than dropping them into the stack. Keeping the cable under tension in chase the effectiveness of the exercise. And the third one, body movement beyond the lower arms. If you find yourself swaying, rounding or hollowing the back, jerking the shoulders or moving the hips, you are not stable yourself well. This is a sign that you are lifting too heavy of a weight and using momentum rather than state contraction. Move the leg on the same side forward when using a heavier weight for stability. You can even bend over in the leg forward position if you keep the back straight and allow all motion to come from your forearms. And the fourth one, incomplete range of motion. The function of the biceps is to move your forearm and upper arm together. If you aren't fully opening and closing your elbows, you aren't working your biceps as much as you could with this exercise. Now it's time for barbell branch press, 4 series of 10 reps with 1.25 kg of each side on a barbell. The barbell branch press is a classic exercise popular among all weight lifting circles, from bodybuilders to powerlifters. The bench press is a staple of chest exercise in nearly every workout program. How to do a barbell bench press? Lie flat on a bench and set your hands just outside of shoulder width. Set your shoulder blades by pinching them together and driving them into the bench. Take a deep breath and allow your spotter to help you with the lift, off in the order to maintain tiggles through your upper back. Let the weight settle and ensure your upper back remains tight after liftoff. Inhale and allow the bar to descend slowly by unlocking the elbows. Lower the bar in a straight line to the base of the sternum and touch the chest. Push the bar back up in a straight line by pressing yourself into the bench, driving your feet into the floor for leg drive and extending the elbows. Repeat the desired number of repetition. And now some bench press tips. Technique first, wait second. No one cares how much you bench if you get injured. Keep the bar in line with your wrist and elbows and ensure it travels in a straight line. In order to keep the wrist straight, try to position the bar as low in the palms as possible while still being able to wrap the thumb. If you want to keep more tension through the triceps and chest, stop each repetition just short of lockdown at the top. The next exercise is for glutes and it's called glute hyperextension. For series of 10 reps with 25 kilograms. How to do it? Start in the prone position with weights held to your chest. You want to internally rotate your shoulders and deliberate around your upper back. You want to make sure the majority of the tension is in your glutes on the contraction. As you descend, 
you will feel most of the tension in your hamstrings, but some will be in your glutes. Go to a range of motion that gives you a good stretch in your hamstrings, but if you don't feel a massive stretch here, it's okay because of the starting position. This range of motion will vary depending on your individual mobility and flexibility. Pause for a second at the bottom and initiate the movement by contracting your roots as hard as possible back to the starting position. Try to imagine initiating the movement by squeezing your butt cheeks together. Remember to keep your upper back rounded so you don't bang to really solely on your lower back for the movement. The second exercise for glutes is barbell squat. For a series of 10 reps with 30 kilograms. I will tell you about common mistakes when squatting. The first one is rounding the lower back. It's crucial important that you keep a straight back when you squat. You can ensure your back is straight by keeping your eyes facing forward, chest out, shoulders black back and back arch. Keep your core muscle tensed through the movement to help hold your back in place. The second one, pushing from the balls all of your feet. This puts an crucial strain on joints and tendons. Always push up through your heels. Curling up your toes can help you get the technique right. The third one, leaning forward. This happens when your hips move up faster than your shoulders. To prevent this, keep the rep timing slow and control and stick your buttocks out as you go down. The fourth one, knees come too far forward. When you squat down, your hips should be dropping straight down, not coming forward. Using a light way, perfect your form standing side onto a mirror. Your knees should never track out and over your toes. The fifth one, not squatting deep enough. Using squat to their full potential requires squatting down at least until your fights are around parallel to the floor. And the sixth one, knees in or out. Don't point your knees in or out when you're lowering or pushing the weight. This puts an easier strain on the knee joints. Looking down, as soon as you look down your back strand, simple as then and thank you for being with me in our day 40 of gym with me now you can see that i had uh, ribs for breakfast and nice chinese cuisine for lunch and after all i'm showing you some clips for my photo shoot in warsaw uh, on street Świat. it was really easy the apartment was so beautiful so I hope that you enjoyed this video, I love you and see you soon in another video. Bye!